Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this pattern, and they'd like to put it in their patterns, like vector patterns to use for future. So we're going to go to vector patterns because it brings that. But if you go right here, new source, and we're going to go new source from file, and I call it poly fill, and say import it, it skews it. It doesn't, I mean, it's still the same pattern, but excuse it, I've tried a couple of different ways. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. One, I'm hoping somebody will chime in. Uh, it would be pretty neat to be able to, you know, use these patterns. But what I would suggest is if you have a bunch of patterns, just put them on the screen. And then when you want to make a pattern of that, of, you know, and have it inside this rectangle, just put it inside that rectangle and select them both and go to intersect. And then that pattern has filled up that square. Doesn't have to be a square, it could be a circle, uh, an ellipse. You know, let's even hit the plus key on the keyboard and make a new shape. Let's weld it, now we've got a completely new shape. Let's take that pattern and put it in that and center a little bit and intersect it. So you can put that pattern in any shape or form that looks a little funny right there just because of the way it's coming down. Uh, so one, I'm hoping somebody will chime in to try to figure out why that's skewing when we do that. And also it's too big. It, I mean, now I'm, I'm huge on my drawing. So let's make a smaller rectangle and fill it with that pattern. And we're still getting a little bit of a dividing line there. Uh, evidently, I didn't make the pattern big enough. Let's just do that one and go to pattern. See, it still skews it. It's not, this is almost like a soccer ball. It's not, uh, it's got some weird shapes and shadows and it's not perfect because some of these X's go right through the center and some of them don't. So one intersect tool to me will be your best option. And then if you have several of these, just you know, make, um, make different copies of it and, and uh, you know, if you got one that's red or yellow and you got different shape, just save them as fill. And whenever you need to put them in an item, then you could just use that, you know, bring that fill sheet and just use intersect tool. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.